Good morning, everyone. I would like to share my reflection about the story in Luke chapter 7, verse 36 to 50. This was a story about a woman who washed Jesus' feet with her tears and wiped his feet with her hair and oiled his feet with expensive oil. So I would like to give a reflection about the picture of Jesus in this story. I see Jesus as a loving father. This woman had a very bad reputation, but um, the Lord was so merciful on her and was willing to receive her as his own daughter. I see Jesus as a defender here. When the Pharisee had evil thoughts um, against, that, against the woman, Jesus tried to defend the woman by saying something positive about her actions. And I see Jesus here as a forgiver of sins, like, like uh, he says down the passages when we read Mac Matthew, when we, when we read Luke chapter seven, he forgave the woman's sins, and the woman walked away free. And I see here Jesus as a very patient person. He really let the woman express herself. He let her wipe his feet and do all that she wanted to do in order to show gratitude to the Lord. And I would like us also to point out differences between the woman and the Pharisee, whom is known also to be Simon. So the woman was the person who was owing a hundred pence and Simon was the one who was owing only fifty. So meaning they were all sinners, but the woman was more of a sinner than Simon. But the fact is that they were all sinners. And, so, and the other difference is that the woman had a very bad reputation compared to the Pharisee, who is also known as Simon. So in this story, I would like us to concentrate on what the Lord is asking us to do or what the Lord wants us to learn from this story. So we should learn that we should not point fingers at people who have lived sinful lives. The Lord does not look at our past. Once we repent and we come to Jesus, he is willing to receive us as his children. We should not explain other people's testimonies in order to protect our reputation. If we take, for instance, it was an awkward situation for Jesus where a woman who had a very bad reputation come to him and um, wipe his feet with her tears and her using her hair and um, anoint him with expensive oil. It, it was somehow awkward because the Lord, is, the Lord was known to be a perfect person and a Messiah as he told the people. But here he did not try to protect himself from um he did not try to protect himself from um people looking at him as a as a bad man or a, or maybe like he had something to do with the woman he stayed there patiently and allowed the woman to express herself jesus loves us all the same he cares more about our hearts than our reputation when we confess our sins he is faithful and just to forgive us of all our sins and we should receive everyone who comes to Jesus as our fellow brethren. When someone has left his or her worldly um, life, we're not supposed to um, make them come out in public like they are the lost sheep and they've come back to Jesus. We should receive everybody as a child of God because we're all the same in the, eye, in the eyes of the Lord. And lastly, I would like to let us Remember and not forget that Jesus loves us all and he died to save us the sinners and he would like to have us back as his children. So let's share love and let us um, be willing to welcome people who come back to the Lord with the love, with the same love that he shows to us. We should extend the same love to the people who come back to him as his children. Thank you for listening.